up, Facebook world? It is your girl, Mindy C, coming at you on Friday night. Woo, woo, freebie Friday. I am Mindy from Michigan. Thank you for tuning in. And if you are live with me, you'll see that red live button box, that red live box right up there. And give me a one if you're live with me. And if you're in the replay, that's okay. Say hi, hello, I'll come by and say hello. If you want to follow me, tap those three buttons right up there in the corner and then you'll hit see follow first and then you'll never miss one of my lives ever again thank you for joining in hey denise what's going on i've got an easy one tonight super duper 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 easy you guys so you need um a bowl you need a spoon hey kathy what's going on hey lydia how are you doing Nice to see you. Hi, Denise. Nice to see you. A bowl and a spoon. You need some unsweetened coconut flakes. I've got um, my friend Bob. So Bob's um, Red Mill. They sell these in most grocery stores. Hey, Sandy, what's going on? Hey, Karen, nice to see you. So I'm making some coconut, um, I guess, coconut squares. That's what we're going to call them. Coconut, keto coconut squares. So super duper easy. You need to get some unsweetened um unsweetened coconut flakes um like shredded the shredded kind these have one gram of carbs per fourth cup so they're really good there's three cups going in the recipe so there's 12 carbs from um the coconut going in so once you divide the squares so if you get six squares into 12 that would be two carbs per square get what i'm saying you picking up the cars and laying down hey natalie what's going on hey Petrina, nice to see you Okay, let's get at it. So you need an eight by eight, line it with some parchment paper. This is gonna be easier with the parchment paper. It's gonna be easier to cut them afterwards after they um, form up. So you could absolutely use a bigger pan and then you could make them, um, they would just be thinner. So you would get um, thinner coconut squares rather than a thicker one. But we're gonna do them in the eight by eight. So eight by eight with parchment paper. Again, these are no bake, you guys. So you just need coconut. You need coconut oil. You need some sugar-free maple syrup. And I'm adding in chocolate chips. And you'll also need some vanilla. And that's it. That is it. If I miss you. I'm sorry. Hey, Brandy, what's going on? So grab your bowl. How is everyone doing on Friday night? Hey, Anya, how are you doing? Thank you for sharing, Rhonda. Big, oh, let me see if I can say that right. Um, Cotrell. So I'm assuming Cotrell is your last name. And the middle one is your mating name. All right. All right. Okay, so you need a bowl. I'm just getting some, um, it looks like some coconut flakes fell in there. So that's what I'm, I'm getting out of there. So take your three cups of coconut, shredded, unsweetened coconut, and put them in the bowl. Just like that, super duper easy. Get your one teaspoon of vanilla and pour that into the bowl. Really, really easy. Super duper. Hey Liz, how is it going on this Friday night? I'm cooking some coconut, I'm not even cooking. They're I'm not cooking, these are no bakes. No bakes tonight. Coconut flakes, vanilla. We're gonna wait for the chocolate chips after. So, and then you need your, um, I would say about a third cup of maple syrup, but if you want to go a little bit less, go a little bit less. I put, um, I think I put a fourth cup up there, but I'm using um, almost one third cup. It's, it's not that big of a difference. It's just going to give me a little more taste and flavor in there without adding too much more. So there we go. So you be the judge of that when you make them. And that is it. And then you're going to pour one cup of melted coconut oil. And that is going in, and we are going to stir this up until we get a nice, nice batter. That's what we are going to do. Hey, Mary, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Who else did I mean? Thank you for sharing, Lydia. I appreciate that. Sharon is Karen. If you know anybody that can get value out of these low-carb recipes, you guys, share them out. Share them to your page. Share them to your groups, your keto groups. Now, I don't know how long this is gonna take before this breaks down. I hope I didn't get myself into a little world of problems here, but we're just gonna keep stirring it. And if it doesn't break down, I'm gonna throw up my ninja. How about that? So um, 
So super duper easy. So the coconut oil in it is what it's going to make it, um, it's going to make it harden up. So when you put it in the refrigerator, cause we're gonna stick them in the refrigerator after. But we gotta get like a batter like consistency. I may have needed to shred it up this coconut a little bit in, in the um, food processor, but that's okay. Cause I'll get that Ninja out and we will, we will pulverize this coconut in here. Hey Madeline, how are you doing? Hey Lucille, nice to see you. Um, I can use butter, right? Can't, uh, ooh, I don't know. You could try, try it. Why not? Well, you can't use coconut oil. You can't use coconut or coconut oil. Um, but I don't see why not. I guess we just gotta keep stirring this until it gets, until it gets. I'm gonna get something, I'm gonna get something out of here. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna, I'm gonna get the burger masher out here. We're gonna see if, if we can break down some of this coconut. Hey Brandy, what's going on? Uh, does it make a difference if you use refined? Um, the, the unrefined is gonna have the coconut taste. So the refined, you are not gonna get that coconut taste. So when you're buying the coconut oil, so that's what you gotta look for. Unrefined is gonna give you that little coconut taste. So sometimes I take coconut oil the unrefined and put a little sweetener on it if I need some fat. So I like I like it like that. But if you don't like the coconut taste, then you would buy the the refined. Uh, the oil kill my oh okay. The butter won't though. The butter won't be bad for you. So we're, I'm just pulverizing this coconut in here. So obviously maybe um this might take a while. We might be here a while. It's Friday night. Who who's got time? Who's got time? All right, so super duper easy, you guys. I'm making some coconut bars, but I um, I guess I should have um, mashed up the coconut a little bit more. Maybe not. Maybe not. I I'm gonna get my. We're gonna de we're gonna decide on this because it's not turning into a batter. It's just. You're welcome, Leslie. Um, you are welcome. So yeah, I'm gonna put it in my ninja. We're gonna we're gonna stick it in my ninja. That's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna. We're gonna get this going. We're gonna get this party started the right way. So I don't know um, if I need to shred this a little more. If I just, I probably just need to put it in the pan, don't I? I just need to put it in the pan. I'm not putting it in the pan yet until I, until I put it in the Ninja food processor, my magic bullets. Let me see. Hi, Linda from Texas. Me too, I love coconut too. It is one of my favorites. So super duper easy recipe to do. Let me get this ninja out here. I might have to, where do we got? We gotta put this on here. What the hell is this thing? I gotta take this cup thing off. See, I'm not even new to, I'm new to the ninja. So we'll take that cup. Hold on a second. Dropping things, dropping the five second rule, five second rule. All right, now I got the ninja thing correctly. Hey Rhonda from Kentucky, nice to see you on here on a Friday night. I'm getting, um, I'm making super duper easy coconut bars, but I'm gonna, I wanna pulverize the coconut. So everything's in here, so we're just gonna stick it on the Ninja and we are going to plug it in. We're gonna plug it in. I don't have it plugged in. Look at Friday night fall offs tonight. There we go, hold on. There we go. over there for a second. We're just going to leave it over there. We're going to see what we get. It's looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm just going to shake it up a little bit so the, the top stuff will get to the bottom and then we'll scrape it out and then that's good. So, I don't know if I need to grind that coconut up before I put it in the bowl, obviously. Obviously. That's good. See, that's why you need a magic bullet. Um, thanks, Linda. So, there we go. I've got uh, one cup of coconut, melted coconut oil in here, and I use the unrefined because I do like the coconut flavor. And I've got um, three cups of unsweetened coconut flakes, and I bought these from um, my friend Bob, Red Mills. 
that's what I use, but I would um, suggest um, flaking these, grinding these up a little bit first, or you can just do what I did, put it in a bowl and then put it in your little Ninja or food processor, and then scrape them back into your bowl. And then we are going to add the chocolate chips. So that is it, you guys. So a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of coconut oil, a little bit of, um, what else do we got in there? There's not that many things, coconut flakes, Coconut oil, vanilla, oh, and um, sugar-free maple syrup, too. So, there you go. So, and if you like a little more sweetness, add a little more maple um, sweetness to it. So, it's not going to get, like, a complete, like, you know, like, a smooth batter. So, it's obviously going to have, a, like, a coconut texture to it. So, now I'm just going to put in these chocolate chips. And again, you guys, chocolate chips are optional, but... You know, who doesn't need a little chocolate in their lives? You know, we're, we're kind of making like, um, I guess, mound, like mound squares, I guess. Isn't that? Yeah, almond joy's got nuts, mound stone. So there we go. So this is the what the batter looks like, you guys. I'll show you real quick. So, and if it looks too crumbly to you, this is not crumbly. Um, add a little bit of water to moisten it up a little bit. And then you just pour in your parchment lined pan here just like this and we are going to get our hands wet and we are going to press it in with our hands get our hands wet let me get my hands wet Woo! get them wet so there we go and press that down into your pan just like that make it nice and pack it down in there you guys so you don't want it to be you don't want it to be too loose. So pack it in there, make it sure it is even. And that's, that is it, you guys. So I added, I guess I'll have to add that Ninja Bullet Step or food processor or um, um, powder up those flakes before you put them in there. So they weren't working just in the bowl. They weren't disintegrating. I guess if you want bigger flakes, you can totally have bigger flakes. You can have coconut bars, but I wanted mine more like, you know, smooth texture. That's, that is it. Let me rinse off my hands real quick. There we go. There we go. So coconut, woo! And these are going to go in the refrigerator for about an hour, and that's it. So I just use um, super duper easy if you're just tuning in. Hey, Darlin, how are you doing? Hey, Susan, nice to see you. Um, nice to see you. Who did I miss while I was doing it? Hey, Beth, how are you doing? Hey, Nicole, hey, Jen, hey, Linda. Hey, Diane. Hey, Christine. Hey, Mom. If you are on here, hello, Mama. Hello. So that is it. So I am Mindy from Michigan. If you are just tuning in, I just made a quick and easy no-bake coconut bar, and I added chocolate chips to it or coconut squares. Super duper easy. Three cups of coconut flakes, unsweetened coconut flakes. And again, I would put these in your food processor to pulverize them first. Um, if you want like a smoother texture and so three cups of coconut flakes one cup of melted coconut oil a teaspoon of vanilla a quarter cup to a one-third cup of maple syrup and um, a fourth cup of chocolate chips and those are optional and then you are going to pack it in a parchment lined paper um, you are going to pack it in a parchment lined pan um, and then you're going to put it in your refrigerator for like an hour until that coconut oil will harden back up. Then you can lift it out and cut it and then you can store them in your refrigerator. They'll keep up for a while, like a while, like at least a month, at least a month. I'm going to put those in the refrigerator and that's all I got. Easy, easy, breezy. Hey, Tina, what? Tina, you call me live. Yay. Hey, Rodney Palmer. How are you doing on this Friday night? I just made some easy breezy coconut squares. So super duper easy, you guys. Um, again, I have all this stuff. Now this is a small package that I bought, so um, there's not much left in there. But definitely, this is why I keep like stuff like that in my cupboard when I go out, when I look at other recipes, I buy the stuff and just keep it in my cupboard. So literally, you know, coconut flakes, coconut oil, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of sugar-free maple syrup, a little bit of sugar-free chocolate chips, and you've got yourself like a nice little delicious fat bomb coconut snack that's literally probably going to be, if you get six squares out of it, it's going to be two carbs per square. So if you cut them into smaller squares, 
and then you want to do like one card per you can also do that too so it's it's yours so or you can put them in that bigger sheet and you can stretch it out that way if you want thinner coconut squares so whatever you want Tina, the recipe is posted right up there. I put it right up in the header, girlfriend. It's literally like four ingredients. Hey, Lisa, how are you doing? Nice to see you. But that's all I got for you guys on a Friday night. So easy breezy coconut squares. If you guys like coconut, go ahead and make these up. And again, put it in your food processor if you like it to be like more of that smoother texture of the coconut wrap versus the flakes so if you want it to be bigger chunks of flakes then you know don't do nothing with it but i wanted to have kind of like a mounds bar just like I said almond joy's got nuts mounds don't so i'm making kind of like a i guess a mounds a mounds dessert that's what i'm making hey lee what's going on hey anita how are you doing Yes, I will definitely post a recipe. In an hour, I will cut them and I'll post a recipe for you guys. You are so welcome, Jen Gate. So, you guys, if you entered Freebie Friday on my post below, I will get at you in a few minutes. I just got off work making a live video and I'm going to get to the post next. Have a great night, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Ooh, Nicole, that sounds delicious. Peanut butter cookies, yum, yum. Bye.